Hey, how's it going, do it first? So as a follow-up to my previous video on how your EVAP vent solenoid works, today I'm gonna to show you how your EVAP purge solenoid works and operates. But not just that, we're also gonna go over to the car and show you how it looks on the car itself. And we also cover some testing procedures and symptoms of a bad purge solenoid as well. Now before we get onto this video, I just wanna clarify something. In my previous video, I used some uh, foul language. I believe I said, fuck, shit, bitch, and crap. Most of you were okay with it, but some people complained, and to those people, I just wanted to first say that I'm not sorry, and second, if you don't like it, you can get out! Because there's gonna be more from where that came from, plus maybe some obscene hand gestures. All right, so with that out of the way, let's get back to what we're talking about. And what are we talking about? Yeah, we're talking about the purge solenoid. All right, so the job of your EVAP purge solenoid is to open up when your car's PCM commands it to and allow for the hydrocarbons or fuel vapors that are deposited into your charcoal canister from your fuel tank through this line to be directed back into the engine through the vacuum that's inside your intake manifold. So here's a look at our charcoal canister. And right here where it says tank, is where this land that comes from your fuel tank which carries fuel vapors and hydrocarbons into your charcoal canister attaches to. And this one where it says purge is where the line from your charcoal canister to your purge solenoid which carries the stored hydrocarbons from your charcoal canister attaches to. And as mentioned in my previous video, this one where it says air next to it is where the line that goes to your vent solenoid attaches to on your charcoal canister. All right, now let me show you how the perch solenoid looks on this 2004 Saturn Ion. All right, so here's a look at our perch solenoid on this car. It's this piece right here. This is the line that goes from our perch solenoid to our intake. Now this is gonna be hard showing you guys, but see that line that goes from underneath into the solenoid? That's the line where it comes from your charcoal canister. Now just to clarify, your purge solenoid is usually in the closed position, unlike your vent solenoid that's usually in the open position. And it's opened periodically through by your PCM when your car is warmed up properly in order to purge the charcoal canister of hydrocarbons that have been deposited there through the vapors that come from your fuel tank. Now the way your purge solenoid is switched on and off is very similar to the way that your vent solenoid is switched on and off in that it has constant battery voltage from your fuse or junction box supplied to it, and the switching is done through a ground wire that, that comes from your PCM. So this solenoid is usually in the closed position, but when your PCM decides to activate it, it simply supplies it ground through this ground wire, and that act activates the solenoid and opens it up. Now as far as what are some symptoms of a bad perch solenoid, first obvious one is gonna be a check engine light with a code regarding your perch solenoid. I'll put a list of these uh, codes that could potentially mean a problem with your perch solenoid at the end of this video if you're interested. But as far as what are some engine performance symptoms uh, if you have a bad EVAP perch solenoids go, the first one is going to be having a hard time starting your car, especially after you fill up your gas tank. And that problem usually means you have a perch solenoid that's stuck in the open position. See when you fill up your gas tank, you're going to be pushing all these vapors out into the charcoal canister. And then from there, through this line, and then since this solenoid is stuck open, the, these vapors are simply gonna find their way into the intake manifold, and then from there to your combustion chambers. And then when you start your car, you're gonna be running very, very rich, and that's why you run rough in the beginning, or you're simply gonna have a hard time starting your car. Also, if your perch solenoid is stuck open, it basically means you're gonna have a vacuum leak. Your engine is gonna suck in unmetered air, and that's also gonna cause your engine to run rough. Also, this line that comes after your purge solenoid, if it gets cracked, it's gonna be a vacuum leak as well, even if your purge solenoid works properly, because when it's closed, again, your engine is gonna suck in air, unmetered air, through this line after your purge solenoid, and that's uh, gonna cause your engine to run rough, so it's something you wanna check and keep in mind as well. Now, as far as how you can test one of these to see whether it's uh, defective or not, if you can test these on the car, but if you get it outside the car and you suspect that it's stuck in the open position, uh, first thing you can do is simply try to blow through it. Since without voltage or ground, this should be in the closed position, you shouldn't be able to blow through these uh, solenoids. And since this is brand new, I'm unable to blow through this, so it passed the, passed the first test. Now a more bulletproof test to see whether this solenoid is completely closed without voltage or ground is to simply pull a vacuum on the side that goes to your intake manifold. See, your intake manifold is gonna be pulling your vacuum under normal circumstances from this side, so you wanna make sure you connect your uh, vacuum pump 
to the end that goes to your intake manifold. And then you can just simply apply about 15 inches of uh, uh, vacuum to it and then you want to wait and make sure that it holds vacuum. Next, after you've made sure it can hold vacuum, you want to supply it ground and voltage through the connector and this should open and that vacuum should go all the way down to zero. There. So with that said, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor and share this video on your favorite social network and also join me there. I'll put a link to my Facebook, Instagram and Twitter pages uh, in the description box. And also if you want to see more videos like this one, I'll put some related videos on this side of the screen that you can click on. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.